Okay, this is Act 5. It's the cemetery. Um, I am going to switch to the... I don't want to call it a staff. It's a uh, spear um, for a trick that we're about to do. Uh, Grimoire skip. Normally, you have to go to the left and collect a grimoire, and then we can attack the gate and get through. Um, this is this method I'm showing is slightly faster, so I like to go right here because it's easy to get up this ladder. You can just jump straight up to it, but it's easy to overshoot. But if you just hug this and double jump holding forward, it's much easier to get up reliably. We'll jump onto this, aim for that part of the tree, and we're gonna drop a little bit, jump twice, and get up here. Here we'll get onto the branch. Line yourself up so you're looking right between that ladder and this little piece of um, stone. So look between that, we're going to go forward, jump twice in quick succession, so we want to get as high as possible, and then we're going to go right and then back. Uh, in quick succession. So it's going to be forward, jump, jump, right, back. And we should land on that far branch right there. So let me try it. Yeah, I missed. It's fairly difficult, but with practice you can be pretty reliable. So I did that. Um, next we can jump onto this branch. You need just a single jump. I find double jumping is way less reliable. And then here we need as much height as possible. Ah, crap. Um, I jumped a little bit too fast. We need a lot of height there so um, we can get on top of that gate invisible wall. So let's try that again. So once we're on here, we just attack once and hold forward and we'll fall through. So if you do that correctly the first try, it's, I don't know, 10 seconds faster than Grimoire skip, or than getting the first Grimoire, rather. Um, if you can't get it first try, it's probably not worth it, but um, it's a significant savings, so it's worth it. Um, here we're gonna be doing our first menu lamp boost. So for some reason, I find that this one is more reliable if you reset at this campfire first, or uh, not the campfire, this isn't Dark Souls, uh, the uh, cauldron. So I'm gonna reset from last checkpoint. Remember, we're allowed to do that within three seconds of hitting the checkpoint in this category. So, and then from here, instead of just rolling and bonking into this, if you hold forward and left and roll, you won't bonk that and you'll be able to roll um, while the scene is still loading. So here we're gonna jump up onto this, jump twice onto here, and we're gonna do our first menu lamp boost. So for this one, I like to line up so that my right foot is right there. So it's just slightly inside of the tip of the lamp and it's touching the forwardmost edge. And so in order to execute it, we're gonna roll, let ourselves come back to our neutral position and then attack. And so if we do that correctly, he's going to do his roll attack and uh, and then immediately we're going to open up our menu. So if I do it on the ground real quick, uh, let's kill this guy. So if I do it on the ground real quick, I'm going to roll, attack, and then, oops, I'm going to roll, attack, and then open the menu like this. And when I do that, what happens is the lamp boost occurs as it normally would, except because of the spinning attack, it's going to add up multiple velocities simultaneously. So it's going to give us a huge boost across this chasm. So let me line up one more time. I want my foot to be right there. It seems appropriate. So I'm going to roll, attack, open menu, and then it should boost me across. So I want to jump once just before this bridge on the right. And if I did this right, I should land in the perfect spot. And I didn't. Um, I was a little bit too far to the right. Um, so depending on where you start your position, you will go different places. So um, sometimes you can save it because you have an extra jump saved up. Sometimes you cannot. That one I think I could have saved it, but I just didn't, um, didn't do it right. So again, we'll jump just before that bridge on the right. This one should be better, I think. 
And we land here. That's exactly where I want to land, right in this tree. And then we can roll around and get to our destination. So coming up, it's going to go to another auto scroller. This one is a uh, flappy bird like um, mini game. So we'll just do it. I mean, there's nothing to say. Um, you can skip a minute ish ahead if you want. Yeah, for some reason, my music always stops there. I don't know why. It's disappointing because the music in these is the best part of the auto scrollers. Right at the end here, you can try to scrape your knees on the ground so it doesn't throw you as much, but it only saves milliseconds. Um, actually, that might just be a joke from GDQ. I really don't know if that saves any time at all. Um, so here we have a skip. Normally we have to destroy a bunch of gravestones. Again, we're mashing the spacebar and E alternatively, so we can roll, roll. Um, normally we kill a bunch of gravestones, but instead we're going to go right here. Double jump, tap forward, and we'll get on top. We're going to jump onto this tree, come to the corner here, double jump on top of here, single jump onto this branch, then we're going to go forward onto here. We need a little bit of extra height here. We can roll once or just run, and then double jump onto here. We need distance on that one. So here we're going to just pretend we're doing that same tree that we did earlier. It, it's literally the same tree, but we don't have the same visual marker, so we just try to do the same thing we did before. So it's about right here. And then we jump up to here, and then we jump up. We kind of, um, that little post right there, we can aim toward, maybe to the right a little bit. Double jump up, we hit uh, this invisible platform over the fence, and then we can double jump over it and head this way, and once we're right here, we can reset because we hit the checkpoint. That saves a lot of time if you do it first try. It's it's very difficult to get used to, but it's, it's a considerable savings. Here, let me kill this guy real quick because I need to show you the jump. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Um, so we're going to jump as far as we can onto that. So to do that, we kind of want to go to the right so that we're aligned as much as possible with that second section. So when we double jump onto it, we have as much leeway as possible. So when we're running through here, we'll jump kind of to the right. And then we have to jump, double jump early so that we don't lose our jump ability. So we'll just jump, jump and land right there. Saves a couple seconds. Not a big deal, but... Um, you will throw yourself into the chasm several times before figuring out the exact positioning. So here we can jump up there, save a little bit of platforming, come up here, again save a little platforming by jumping on the outside, and jump up here and do our zip line. And so here we're going to just get through this section until we reach the main story part of the cemetery. Um, in casual playthrough, cemetery is really long, um, but we skip almost all of it. Um, this actually, it's not the shortest section, I think it's the second shortest section. Um, the fields is the shortest, I think this is the second shortest. Um, so here we normally have to get six sins and destroy them, um, but we can actually skip to gluttony by doing a lamp boost off the roof. So we're going to come up here, get onto this fence, onto this lamp, 
onto this little feature of the castle. Jump up here. If you go too far right, you'll fall down, so you have to get right into this gap. Jump up here, up here. Now this, we want a slow lamp boost. So notice I still have my FPS at 60. Normally I want 30 for lamp boosts, but 60 tends to more frequently give you slow lamp boosts, which is what I want. So I'm leaving the FPS at 60. Um, if I'm at the tip, I will typically get a fast boost. So I want a slow one. So I'm gonna go to the center-ish. So about right, let me do it this way. About right here is where I would go, and we're just going to do a regular lamp boost and hope we get a slow one, and we did. So we're going to just do a double jump there so that we can fall in the right position. Here we want to use our shotgun, and um, I clear those out just so that the enemies aren't going to get stuck. Again, just stand still. These need to jump over. Here I'm going to roll, and then I get a nice shot off on these. I save my crow in case one gets stuck, which it did not. Here we can jump early to get on the platform, and then jump early to get it into here. Now, on this part, we're just going to let him shoot here, and I need to pause for just a second to explain gluttony skip. So, gluttony skip, it Basically, as you get out of this section, you normally have to do an entire phase again. So we'll have to have the swipe, we'll have to have it spreading out the, um, the waves of, of whatever he's spitting out, uh, etc. That whole phase. But if we do the gluttony skip, we skip an entire phase and go straight back into the portal. We don't quite understand it fully, but it seems like if you hold right after you kill this last pillar, and you jump shortly after the screen turns white, then you can sometimes get a gluttony skip. It's only happened four times, I think? Five? No, five. So there's, it's only occurred five times ever, but it's always worth going for because it saves about 30 seconds. So we're going to try that um, after this pillar falls. So we hold right, and then we try to jump into it. So it's... Again, really hard to get, but it's only, uh, it's 30 seconds time save, so it's worth trying. <laughs> so this is the same as before, exactly. And we jump early to get on the platform, jump early to go in. And once again, we're going to try gluttony skip. Oh, didn't get it. This is the last phase, so once this finishes, we will be basically done with um, Cemetery. So we'll have a short animation here, and then without holding any directional keys, we can roll and then attack immediately, and it will kill this, uh, this last sin, or whatever they called, the vessel. Um, so then we roll up to our little guy here, which we were supposed to go to immediately, but we just jumped on top of the roof. Uh, we'll talk to him. Uh, I like to slowly go through this, and then I'm going to hold back and jump. And it will, if we single jump after this, it will land right on this platform and not in the water and die. Uh, and then we can go in the portal. And that finishes the act.